So there we have it, the pen is nearly ready to go, I'm assuming it might take just a little minute for the ink to kind of move through the system of the pen. And I didn't realise this, but it's got a nice handy uh, like clip, so I can clip it to things. I recognize. 
is this from the other week? The drawing that someone kind of rightly pointed out looks a little bit like a pinball machine. This um, paper pad I genuinely found a bunch of them in a bin so I'm afraid I can't kind of tell you where I got it We're gonna go landscape or portrait today I think I'll landscape Let's see how the pen's working. If the doll, not yet. I remember when I first got the other pen reading that you have to kind of lean it, leave it up, upright for a bit, which feels a bit counterintuitive. It's definitely still got ink in there, so. I can't remember the last time I did a red drawing. The nib definitely feels very nice and fine, so I'll be excited to use this more frequently. See, nothing's coming yet. Nothing at all. I'm hoping I'm not wrong and that there isn't actually ink in this. Let's see, let's get the light on it. I can actually see a tiny little bit of um, red there, so hopefully with just a little bit more persuasion. Ah, there we go, look, there's some on my finger. Don't know if you can see that, looks like I've cut myself. Here we go, beautiful. The nib is in fact very fine. There's no plan, so this could end up just being a um, a scribble, a big red scribble. Some kind of face. Things usually end up having a face. Similar to the last 
it's just a case of playing around with it really, isn't it? I'm sure anyone who creates their own content on here will know what I'm talking about. You can't just jump straight in, you've got to play around and see what's good, see what works. necessarily the drawing, I don't know what on earth I'm doing with the drawing, but the pen, definitely. I'm kind of excited to use up the red so I can get, get a black cartridge in there and really get going, use it on the big commission, because that's been suffering slightly. If you've been watching my updates on those, um, I think it's maybe been suffering slightly with the pen getting older and a bit more disheveled. It's always good to treat yourself. It's always nice to, you know, within reason, buy yourself a little treat now and again. Within reason, I don't tend to buy myself things. The only thing I kind of buy with regularity is books. But, um, I just get them cheap from charity shops. I'll never spend more than five pounds on a book. And also drawing, you know, that generally doesn't require huge kind of updates all the time. So I just, I've got a pen and paper and I've got endless amounts of paper saved up from years and years and years. So, you know, I'm happy. My interests and hobbies kind of don't for the long for the long run don't involve me leaving leaving the house apart from running and walking but again that's that's a completely free um, a free endeavor this is why during the pandemic, I kind of thrived. And I know that the pandemic was an incredibly difficult time for so many people. And people really suffered, but... And I have, you know, my utmost sympathies, I completely can understand that. Excuse me. But for me, I just... I loved it. I totally thrived. For myself, for my own pleasure, my own peace of mind, I really enjoyed it. I was so relaxed and I got to catch up on my entire life basically. It made me kind of realise I'm a hell of a lot more introverted than I thought I was. Turns out I don't like having lots of social obligations to uphold. I quite like just doing nothing. Which mostly informed me leaving London where eagle-eared viewers, eagle-eyed viewers will um, remember that I used to live there. And now I live elsewhere. This pen is, is kind of orange almost. It's like a really subtle red hinting towards an orange. Just glanced up and um, at my camera filming up there, and I'm getting a real like Matthias Adolfs and uh, vibe from this drawing. Except this is fairly random, and his usually have a lot, a lot more um, meaning. This he's usually drawing a thing. He's drawing something which I really appreciate about his work. I really like him. In fact, I'd say he's probably one of my favourite artists. That's the trouble when anyone asks me who my favourite artists or illustrators are. I just can't think in the moment. My brain draws a blank. I did do a little bit of research in looking for this pen and before I decided to just keep it cheap and cheerful and not worry too much about it. There were a number of ones that I was looking at getting. One of them was
was the pilot per error. Maybe if anyone's got this or has used this, please let me know what you thought because I did like the look of it, but ultimately I was after something thin and I don't think it would have been thin enough for me. I just so that's why I just kind of stuck with what I know. I thought I'd save some money for the time being. Maybe when I've saved up a bit more, I'll invest in something really super nice. As I've said before, I'd love to get one of the, um, like a really nice falcon pen, I think they are, but they can be about 200 odd quid, so not yet. <laughs> Maybe when I get a few more subscribers and a few more views and then make some money <laughs> off YouTube, that will be a, a good investment, definitely, but not right now. I've just invested in my setup, so gonna enjoy this for the time being and then reinvest maybe at another point. Let's see. I'm definitely excited to use this GoPro head mount more. I um I also bought a um, a chest mount, you know, you, you strap it around your chest and um, put the GoPro on there so you're kind of hands free and you're out and about and it's looking from your chest outwards. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for, but I'm sure I'll find something. I'll find some. Wacky drawing thing. Maybe I'll uh, do some graffiti with it. Who knows? I've got quite interesting graffiti like that. I haven't done any, but um, I've been noticing it a lot more. Kind of getting into the names that you always see. Really appreciating the art artistry of it a lot more. I do really quite like. But yeah, that would definitely be useful for that. And it's, I'd have to be quiet, obviously, as it's ASMR graffiti, but the kind of shh, might be um, reasonably pleasant for ASMR. Um,
So this is what I came up with with my new pen. I hope you enjoyed those uh, pen sounds and some kind of close-up GoPro POV head view from me. Um, you really did get my, my POV there. I've decided that I'm going to do a part two of this drawing where I draw my best to fill the page more with my red pen, maybe some more with my black pen, and just continue this kooky weird scribble doodle that I'm now deeply invested in. I particularly like my little elephant friend here, the king of the jungle, even though did they live in the jungle? I don't know. I believe it's a common misconception that the lions are king of the jungle because they don't live in the in the jungle. But we shall come back to this in a part two. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you again. I hope you like my new pen as much as I did. Um, happy drawing, and see you very, 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 very soon.